morning. Today we're hunting smooth ants, which means one thing. We need some hardback crabs as bait. So just come to my local sailing club. I'm gonna grab some crabs quickly and uh, head out to Leon Silent. Lovely morning, look at that. Right, simple little uh, setup. I've just got a little crab pot, just chucked in some mackerel. I'm just gonna set it over the side. Check that on the edge. Check this one in there. Cool. Tie it up. There we have it. Also got a crab pot either side. Just gotta leave that for about 10-15 minutes. Don't know if you can see it on here, but there's loads of mullet all swimming along the edges, yeah. It's one one video I've never made. I need to come out here and do some proper mullet fishing. There's so many in this harbour, they all just cruise around the surface and see them like there. See if I can see any crabs in there already. Yeah, there's literally crabs in there already starting to feed. That's so what we are now, quarter past six. <coughs> I said I'd meet him at seven and got here at what, ten past six? So if I could get, in 10 minutes, get enough crabs for the day, that would be amazing. Look at this sunrise. Beautiful. Beautiful. That didn't take long, did it? It's it now, 20 past. in there ready. A few in there ready. Nothing in, nothing in. I'm escaping! I'm escaping! Get another 10 I reckon and we're done. Not bad timing. Half six. I've already got about 30, 40 crabs. Which is more than enough for today's session. I've also got squid with me today. So the plan, the plan is I'm gonna have one rod on squid, one rod on hardbacks. I'm gonna do the age old experiment of squid versus crabs and see which one works um, and the other reason why I'm using a squid on the other rod is so I can catch other things like rays you know bass things like that so yeah that's bait squid in less than 20 minutes I'm gonna get back in my car now head over to Leon Solent and um, hopefully we can catch some big hounds today it's a lovely morning the sun's behind the clouds at the minute and that sunrise was amazing yeah, Jubilee weekend, go smooth on hunting. Let's do it. Maybe we can catch PV today, you never know.
first off the bat, there are thousands, thousands of oysters here. Look at them all. So many. Look at that. So many oysters. That's good, that. Good for the environment. Cleans the water out, which is a good thing. Look at them. There's just oysters everywhere. So many of them. So many. Nice to see that. It's definitely working. So I think they introduced a lot of oysters into the, um, the Solent, well, around the estuaries to try and filter out the water and the pollution. And this is the most oysters I've ever seen here. I still wouldn't eat them though. I wouldn't eat them unless I somehow filtered them, but literally the ground is just covered. There's so many, I've never seen anything like it. Everywhere you look, oyster, oyster, the one. Amazing. That's a big one there, look. Some big ones on there. That's a lot of oysters. Hi, right, so off Leon Solon today. As you can see, it's flat and calm. There's um, hardly any wind. The wind is coming from behind me at the moment, which is good. I'm gonna be fishing the tide back in. And today we're hunting hounds. Well, we're on the water now. Welcome to another episode and uh, if you're new to the channel and you like my content, make sure you subscribe. I normally try and post a video every week. Um, if, I've, if I've got enough, I'll probably two a week, but on average, I try and post a video every week. Obviously weather permitting and all that. Another lovely morning. Hopefully this wind stays like this for the rest of the day, but yeah. Let's go catch some smooth down. So I want to try like a little experiment today. So I'm off Leon Solo and I know there's loads of smooth arms here. There always is this time of year. Um, it's a very popular spot for them and you don't actually have to go that far out. So for those of you that have um, that are new to it, uh, Leon Solon, well Sultan's Car Park it's called. You can park up there and you only have to go a couple hundred meters out and um, you're literally into, into smooth arms as long as you're using things like squid or hardback crab. So great place for new, new um, you guys and girls to the sport. You also get some decent bass here. You can catch rays here as well. I've had cuttlefish. I've had. What's about yeah. I mean, there's a variety. It depends where you go. To be honest, you can catch bream here as well. Certain times of the year. So it's not very deep here, but the smooth arms definitely tend to come along here for some reason. I don't know what it is. Don't know whether this is their breeding ground or feeding ground or what. But yeah, great place for new beginners. But the main aim today. Is to try and go I want to do like a little experiment so I know I can catch them with hardback crabs and I know I can catch them with squid but I want to do like a little squid versus hardback crabs today so I'm gonna have one rod I think I'll stick to the rod on my left is gonna be squid rod on my right is gonna be hardback crab and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a little competition to see which wins obviously the other reason for using squid as well today is uh, it means I can catch other species so I can also catch things like rays um, Bass, so a bass will take a whole squid as well. So, yeah, let's do this. I always guesstimate when I come out here, yeah, sort of where I think I should be. It's generally about three, four hundred meters directly from the park, car park, straight out from the toilets. You can't go wrong, honestly. Just come out here, yeah, a few hard back crabs, and uh. We'll be into some smooth ones, I can almost guarantee it. Especially June, July time. That's the thing, it's only about, what, 20, 20 feet max out here, maybe 10, 10 to 20 on low tide. So when you do catch the hounds, they run because they've got nowhere else to go other than straight. They can't go down, can't go up. Um, they literally just take it and run here. This is probably why it's one of the best places to catch smooth ones because you're catching them in such shallow water that when, when you do hook them, they literally just set off like a steam train. Um, 
Nice if we caught a 20 pounder today. I've always, always wanted to catch a 20 pound put it on, but we'll see. Got some big ones here, but I think the biggest I've probably ever had from here is probably about 15, 16 pound maybe. Okay, let's pull that in because we don't want to lure in the water while I'm dropping the anchor. It's not very deep. That anchor probably took two minutes to hit the bottom, or two seconds, should I say? Right then, start with. It's got a little, uh, what is this? It's about three or four ounce. It's got a little uh, lead running, on, running ledger, little bead, swivel. Then I've got 30 pound mono, it's my leader. And because I'm using hardbacks and I've got to go through the crab and out the back, I've got seven O's on. It's just one seven O like that. One set up. Same again on the other one. Big 7 0. Right then, let's talk about bait. Let's talk about bait. So, today, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I managed to collect loads of uh, hardbacks. So, I'm going to start with the smallish one. Maybe you, because you're escaping. So, there we have it, hardback. I'm gonna go with one hardback on this one and then a squid on that. And we'll, uh, we'll have a little competition to see which one's better. So all I do with the hardback crabs is take off the two back legs. Like so. And the hook goes into one. Out the other side, and I'll let you have the hook like that. Sweet, let's check that bad boy out. Now, because it's so prolific here, I could probably potentially end up with a fish within minutes, so I'll chuck him out. Always make sure the drag's on, put that in there. And I've literally had times there where it's literally hit the ground and gone straight away. So it can be prolific. I'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, hard back. So my right rod, I'm gonna have hard backs. And then, and then for my other bait, I've got a squid. I'm gonna just chuck whole squids on the other one. Yeah, the problem I might have today is I might get plagued by bream. So I'm gonna chuck these squid out. They might just get obliterated within um, literally minutes few. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. There we have it. Old squid. Let's see how that does. I think I made my leaders a bit too long. It's gonna be difficult to cast this now. Drags on. Right now we're sitting way. Let's see who wins. First inquiries on the squid, funny enough. It's swimming towards me. Oh, my other one's going. We've got two on at once. I think that one let go, hopefully. What's this one gonna be? This one is a ray. This one is a ray? Is that one gonna be a hound? 
Lovely ray. We'll swim back. First fish of the day, thornback ray on the squid. It's kind of why I use squid for my one rod, and I'm definitely on on the other one. I've got a smooth hand on the other one. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. What is this going to be? It's going to be a ray as well. It's swimming right towards me. There you go. Smooth arm's got to be. It's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be. Got to be a smooth arm. If it's a ray, I'll be very surprised. No, it can't be a ray, surely. <laughs> that did not take long. I've only been here 10 minutes, straight into a thornback, and potentially a smooth arm, I think, at the same time. A smooth arm. Yep, got to be a smooth hand. I haven't seen him yet. Definitely have to shorten my leaders, I think. Yeah, smooth hand on a thorn, but lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Great stuff. camera. Oh, these things are crazy. Definitely going to shorten this leader I think. It's going to be hard to grab him now because of how long the leader is. Come oh, on mate. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Smooth out. Right, chill out, mate. Chill out. Chill out. Right, hook out. And we have it. First hand of the day. Face. The lovely hound. So one hound to the crab. And one ray to the squid. Put him back. He's off. Right then. Wow, look at the colours on him. Lovely little ray. Some perfect colours there. How cool that. <laughs> little, little black dot. Never really seen that on a on a thornback. I wonder what type of ray that is. It must be a thorny. That's interesting now. That. I've never seen black spots like that on a ray. Maybe it's not a thornback. It's up to you. You tell me what do you think that is. I think it's a thornback, but with all the white and black spots. Interesting. Alright, let's put him back. Wow. 
Ten minutes ago, Thorny Anna and a hand. It's a squid and crab are doing the business. It's good that. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. Right, round two. Crab on the right, squid again on the left. Let's see what catches what. I did not take long. I had what a hound and a ray within ten minutes of hitting the water. So it can be very like literally fast paced. Sometimes you might even want to stick to just one rod because it gets really interesting when you get two hounds on at the same time. See, Mark's just turned up. Decided to get himself out of bed. <laughs> Drag on. Drag on. I thought I was going to be late this morning, rushing around getting crabs. I woke up an hour later than I wanted to. Yeah, you? Yeah. You look on any other side? Yeah, you want some crabs? Uh, Pompey Crab Man. Say again? Pompey Crab Man. Pompey Crab Man. <laughs> Mate, first, first drop. Yeah. I had, so I'm doing squid versus crab at the moment. Yeah. First drop, I had a thorn back on the squid. Oh, and a hound at the same time. <laughs> so I had a thorn back between my lap and I was wrestling a hound. Crazy, mate. Uh, do you want to come, th yeah, that side? Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, mate. Good. Sweet. It's been a while, hasn't it? it? Certainly has. Yeah. I oh, didn't have any roof bars last time, did I? No. All sorted now, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all sorted, mate. Yeah. I watched. You know what? Salzy could have been an option today. Yeah. But it's hit and miss, and I didn't want to like take the risk of it's going there. Yeah. And then only having like an hour or something. I had to like beach myself. Last time I was there, I had to beach myself um, just to get back on the shore because mm. the waves are crashing on the um, the waves are crashing on the um, slipway. Yeah. It's dangerous, man. <laughs> Proper dangerous. If you need any more, just let me know. It's very shallow here. Yeah. It's literally like, like four foot. <laughs> yeah, it's like not even that deep, but I've had a rain of hounds. Yeah, they're they're definitely there, yeah. mate. It's, it's that, isn't it? Yeah. Right. I'm not sure I was working that. Mental. Is it? Yeah. Is it like busy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another hound. Just without fail, isn't it? Hey. Without fail here. Such great fighters. Alright, right, let's put him back. Put him back. Oh, that's uh, 
two smooth on so far on the crab and just one ray on the squid so far. So a lot of weed that. Right then, round three. It's bad today. Look at that. It's not what you want. Not what you want. My other one's covered as well. Yeah. I'm up for that, mate. Yeah. Yeah, my squid is just covered in those snails. Yeah, I had that earlier. Do you know what they're called? Hello. So many of them. Bass. Nice bass, mate. On a whole squid. Look at him. Is a warm one today, and there's loads of weed. Loads of weed. Oh, getting plagued by weed today. Squid's doing alright though. Bad bass and what well, I think is a thorny on the squid, and then I've had two hounds on the crabs, but getting plagued by this stuff. Not good. Fish is not going to see the crab when it's like that. Tide's rushing a bit, not too much, but it's moving. Not too bad, but it is rushing. I'm just getting loads of weed. See how tight my rod is? It's all just forming a mass of clumps on it at the moment. Did have that nice bass though. Squid this time. Big old thorny that. Check him out, he's a beast. He's 
absolute beast. Absolute beast of a ray. <laughs> He's heavy man. A nice one. He's a nice one. Look at him. It's a good thorny that. Check him out. Nice little thorny. Female this time. So scores of the doors. Squid on the left have had two thornbacks now and a bass. And then crab on the right have had three hounds. So yeah, it's been a good day so far. I'm gonna keep on squid and crab and see what happens. These are the ones that smack you in the face though. Can you have him? That's four smooth out now on the crab. Crab doing the business. Put you back, mate. Put you back. It's a bit bigger. Hey. About two o'clock. Well, two o'clock packing up. There you go, number five. Getting a bit bigger. Scores of the doors then. The squid has had two, two thornback rays on a bass. And the crabs had five hounds. They, um, nothing big though. They're normally a lot bigger this time of year. So I'm hoping there's a few big, big bad boys out there at the moment. They've all been roughly anywhere from low from like five pound up to about, I don't know, 11, maybe 12, nothing huge. So hopefully there's some, uh, some big 15, 20 pounders out there, but at the moment, they're all quite small. And I haven't had any hounds here on squid, which is surprising. I thought I would have had at least one on squid by now. 
we go. The bait choice of the day for hounds, hardback crab. And they are one of the best fighting fish, honestly. Just need a big bad boy to come along and smash it. Dogfish! Doggy! Dogfish? It is hot today. Very, very hot. Look at that weird thing. <laughs> Mental. I'm gonna have to look that up, see what it's called later. Oh, let's get you off it, mate. Let's get you off that hook. Look at that thing. It's like an alien. Let's put him back. <laughs> weird, weird creature. Day there. It's been a good day. I've had six sounds, two rays, nice bass, a couple of doggies. Uh, hardback crabs definitely won today with the uh, smooth downs. I had all my hounds on crab. I normally go for squid, but yeah, all on all on crabs today. And then yeah, I had the two rays and the bass and the doggies all on the squid. Yeah, good day. The weather's changed as you can see. Overcast, windy, not as sunny as it was when we first got here, but overall good day. Hope you enjoyed watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.
course it's raining. Hey, why wouldn't it be raining? Born free.